scented, uh, but I just really like the cover, so I bought it. <laughs> like always. My logic never makes sense for anything, but whatever. By Renee, what's her last name? Denfield? Feld? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and I literally just got back from the thrift store, and I bought five books. So I thought I would turn on my camera and tell you a little bit about them for a little haul time. So without further ado, let us get started! The first book is Bay Girl by Heather Smith. I have no idea anything about this book. I just really liked the cover. I thought it looked really appealing. It's about this girl named Kit and her father is a drunk and her mom won't stand up for herself and basically she gets moved to this new city from her rural setting she was in before and it's all about her like not fitting in and then this boy named Elliot comes into her life so I'm thinking it's like a contemporary... It's set in 1992 so it's not historical fiction but it's like not in today's society. Does that make sense? You know what I'm saying? The second book that I purchased was The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. I've heard so many amazing things about this book. It's about a man who's on death row in a prison and there's this lady who's hired to investigate into their past to try to clear their name and basically he doesn't want this lady doing what she's doing because he wants to die the synopsis is like pretty vague but I've heard such amazing things about it so I'm hoping that I really enjoy it my mom tried to read it and she said she didn't really like it that much she couldn't get past the first chapter but I'm hoping that I can because I've heard it's super good so I bought it the third book that I picked up was Tiger's Curse by Colleen Huick I think that's how you say it but I absolutely loved the cover <laughs> I thought it was super pretty it's about a girl named Kelsey Hayes who goes halfway around the world to try to s break this 300 year old curse with this mysterious tiger named Ren and it's like a fantasy novel I don't know that much about it but I liked the cover so I bought it I don't really read that many fantasy books I'm more contemporary but there's a romance aspect in this so I'm thinking that maybe I like it we'll see what I think okay the fourth book that I picked up was Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. I've heard a lot of things from Reagan from Peru's Project on this book and she really enjoyed it. The book is set in Iceland and it's a historical fiction and it's about a girl named Agnes who is awaiting her execution after a murder trial. She's living in this isolated farm with a couple other people who aren't really all that into housing her because she is a convicted murderer and it's basically the story of what happened is coming out and they're deciding whether or not to believe her. That's what I'm getting from the back. Probably not doing its justice on that synopsis, but, but it sounds really interesting and Reagan liked it, so I'm hoping that I like it. And I was really excited because it's like in perfect condition. And thrift stores usually don't have books in perfect conditions, but all these books that I got are like pretty good conditions, so I'm super excited. And the final book I'm actually so excited about is The Girl in 60 by A.R. Tor. And I recently read this book and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. It might have been a 4.5. I can't remember. But it's about this cam girl named Jessica Riley. Her real name is Deanna Madden. And she has locked herself in this room, apartment 6E, for three years now because she has this crazy bloodlust. And I just, it was such a good book and I saw it on the shelf and I was like, I need to own it because I liked it so much and now I own it and I'm super excited about it. Alright guys, so that was my five book book haul. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!